So I'm starting this, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it, but <coughs> I'm start, the title is a question. What are you saying? What are you saying? That's my question. Most people don't realize the power in their words. That's why they speak so loosely. And remember, the enemy instigates you to get angry so you can lose control of your tongue and say things that are hurtful and say things that are destructive to yourself and to your family or to others. And so the enemy was always trying to get you to to control your tongue. And we justified by saying, well, I was angry. But you don't understand that in that anger what you have spoken has actually gone to start working on something. I know of parents that have abused their children with bad words. Children have abused their parents with bad words. And siblings have abused their you know, by, by using bad words. You know, because we don't realize the power in our words, we seem to speak very loosely. Not realizing that the words we speak actually carry power to execute and to perform something. That's why we are told not to say words that cripple the development of a child. You think, how can my words affect him? Because your words are spirit. And they're going to work in the realm of the spirit first. And you keep saying to your son, you're good for nothing. You're planting that seed. You're releasing that word that has the power to shape him, to make him believe that he is useless and good for nothing. So many parents are literally crying because their children are not worth anything now. Who is the reason? Well, you can say the devil. I understand the devil is behind it, behind this, but you are the instrument that he used to destroy your child's destiny. So when, when you don't understand this, you speak very loosely. And young people, you speak cuss words because it makes you look cool and accepted in your among your peers. You watch so many movies in the, in, I'm talking about English movies. English and some of these movies, they can't complete a sentence without one cuss word. My wife was telling me the other day, it was a Christmas movie. And she said, because it's a Christmas movie, let me watch it. And she turned it on and she said, my God, I had to turn it off because every sentence, they had a bad word in it. And, and a horrible word. You don't want to even talk, think about it. That's how they communicate. So now what's happening? The enemy is programming the minds of the people to talk negative, evil, dirty stuff. And we think that's being cool. Because we are complying with Hollywood and Bollywood. Because they are famous people. They are rich people. So they are talking like that. And that's accepted in the society. So I need to comply so I can be accepted. Now if I don't speak like that, I will look very foreign and I might actually not be welcome into their society into that society. Child of God, please don't lend your mouth to the devil. God needs your mouth. God needs your tongue. And God needs your words. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be careful. What you are saying is creating your reality. Stop. Stop. What you are saying is creating your reality. Okay. 
what you said yesterday is what you're experiencing today ninnati roju nu em maatladavo ee roju adhe anubhavisthunnavu your words shape your destiny nee maatale nee gamyamunu roopisthunnayi your words birth your tomorrow nee maatale nee repati dinanni puttistuntayi what you see is not what you're supposed to say nu chusedi cheppakudandi are you listening innara what you see is not what you're supposed to say nu chusedi cheppakudadu what you desire is what you're supposed to say nee edi aashisthunavo adi parakali hallelujah did you get that adu mothanandi cheppedi oh i'm just telling you the truth satyam cheptunanandi no 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 what you're telling a fact nu vastavanni cheptunavu the truth is god's word satyam devudi vakyam open your mouth and speak the word which lines up with your desire or your desire lines up with the word noru vipi devuni vakyanni palaku nee aashiku anusarinchina devuni vakyanni palaku hallelujah hallelujah i said hallelujah hallelujah there may be nothing in the fridge fridge lo emi lekapochu there may be nothing in the pantry but, but don't say lekapochu. there is nothing emi ledo ancha pakandi i thank god god is filling this pantry devariki stotram vanta kada nimp estunadu hallelujah see because you don't want empty pantry enduku kali you want an overflowing pantry vali pungi porlala na ashistunna you want a good car manchi car kavali oh look at this beaten up car inta paata car idi that's a fact swasthavam but if you say that you are re establishing it dan inka chuparustunnam am i getting through to you artham avutunna sangama come on are you with me everybody hallelujah amen look at what god did devudu em chesadu we know this but i want to take you through it so i want to emphasize this manandariki telusu malli cheptanu vinandi earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god moved upon the face of the waters bhumi nirakaram garu shunyam ga nundanu aatma a jalamulo paina allaadu chundanu what is it dark chikati void agadhamu and um, without form shunyamu the fact is vastavam endante that's a fact adandi vastavam but did god want that kani devuniki adi kavala did god want that devuni kadi kavala so he never said anything about that kavadu dani guruchi em cheppaledu it is written as a fact aduka vastavanga raayabadu now god is expressing what he desires ivu devudu tanaku edi kavalo anchu oh hallelujah to the lamb of god hallelujah so what is he say em cheptunaru let there be light velugu kammani palikadu now let's get this we are spiritual people manam aatma sambandhamaina varamu the power of god devuni shakti the power to create sujinche shakti the power for light to show forth velugu vache shakti was released through words maatala dwara vidudala cheyabadindi are you a child of god meeru devuni biddala are you a human being meeru manushula amen We are made in the likeness and the image of God. మనము దేవుని స్వరూపంలో దేవుని పోలిక చెప్పున సృష్టించబడ్డాము. Amen. That scripture. ఆ లేఖనం. If you study from the Chumash translation of the rabbinical teachings. మరి ఆ ప్రాచీన భాషలు మీరు చదివితే in the in that in that the, the commentary there akkada no commentary lo and the interpretation there says aa tarjuma emani cheptunnade we were made a speaking spirit. మనము పలికే ఆత్మలుగా సృష్టించబడ్డామంట. we are in the made in the likeness and image of god devuni swarupam devuni poliga cheppuna god is a speaking spirit the devudu palike aatma yunnadu jesus said yes, the words i speak nenu palike maatalu are what spirit and life aatma yu jeevana yunnadu so when jesus spoke yes palike na what was happening em jarutundandi power Shikki. life jeevam amen life jeevam. and spirit were were being released aatma vidudala cheyabadutunnadi and if you are a speaking spirit neevu palike aatma ante you are born again nu thiri janmisthe and you have the holy ghost in you parishuddhaatma neelu unde you open your mouth and speak nu noru vippi maatladinappudu something is happening oka kaaryam jarutundi so remember this in your mind gurtinchukondi mee manasulo what am i saying nenu em palukutunnanu that's what i asked you what are you saying nu emi palukutunnanu so from now i want us to be conscious idi modalu konni meeru jaagrutta padali every time i speak nenu palikina prathi sari i am releasing power shakti vidudala chestunnanu come on Every time I speak I'm releasing power 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 to 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 create Sujinche shakti power to destroy no, no, let's, shakti. let's go there okay let me, let me take you so what did God say let there be light Velugu Amen Now Jesus Yesu did the same he used words ఎవ్రీ టైమ్ ఐ స్పీక్ వర్డ్స్ మాటలు వాడాడు Mark 11:14 Marku swartha padukondu And Jesus answered and said unto it no man eat fruit of the here after forever Mari ee padu nunchi evadunu kuda nee nunchi pandunu tinadu ancha cheppadu Jesus spoke what Yes he palikadu matalu palikadu Everybody say words. words Jesus spoke words Yesu matalu palikadu I'm trying to impress upon our hearts tonight 
that our words are not empty mana matalu vattivi kaavani meeto teliyestunnam dayaseyandi words are like buckets matalu bucket la vantivi that carry something edo kaligu unnai you put a bucket into the well and you draw water oka oka baavilo the bucket is supposed to carry something whether it's sand or water or some other material maybe coal anything oka baavilo bucket esthe dannu nilu kistunnam my words i want you to get this picture your words are like buckets nee matalu oka bucket vantivi they can carry life avi jeevamunu kaligu unnai come on they can carry death adi maranaanni kuda kaligu undochu they can carry a blessing aashirvadanu kaligu undochu they can carry a curse leda shaabamunu kuda that's why we got to be careful anduke jagratha padali if we are not careful jagratha padagapothe unconsciously manaku teliyakunda we will let our mouth be used by the, be influenced by the devil to say things which with, with say things about which we will regret later appavadi man note ni vaadi tarvata manamu mari baadha pade maatalu maatladala chestu untadu are you with me ardham avutha sangama so jesus said no man eat fruit of the hereafter mari ippudu nunchi evaru kuda ani oka pannu thinu annadu mark 11:20 says ma 11th vachu meeru and in the morning as they pass by aa udhiyane varu vettu undaga they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots velu modulkoni endi povuta chusarandi danani how did the tree die aa chettu ela endi poyindandi come on say it louder So by your words ni matala dwara by words matala dwara god spoke life devudu jeevamunu palikadu by words matala dwara god cursed a tree and it brought death devudu aa chettu shapinchadu maranamu tisukunnadu i'm trying to impress upon us our words are very powerful mana matalu chaala shaktivantamaina maraku sathya chestunnaru words can create matalu sujinchagalavu words can kill matalu champagalavu words can bless matalu divinchagalavu words can bring a curse matalu shapinchagalavu words can destroy matalu nashtamu cheyagalavu words can encourage matalu protsahinchagalavu words can discourage matalu nilutsam kalagalavu words are very powerful matalu chaala shaktivantamaina and this is the test ide andi pariksha when we are pressurized by people prajalu mana pai ottidi vesinappudu sometimes people irritate us koni saalu prajalu manaki viskethistuntaru the enemy uses people shatru prajalu vaartu untaru circumstances paristhitulanu situations a paristhitulanu to take hold of our tongue mana naluku pai aadinam tisukodani because he knows if i can lend him my tongue vaadiki telichandi mana naluku ni vaadiki isthe now use it to destroy my destiny danini vaadina gamyamunu naasham chestuntadu the devil said i didn't do it you spoke it sadharana nadipu nenu em cheyaledu nuga vaatladu i didn't tell you i didn't tell you nenu nitho cheppaledu he didn't tell the he didn't put the words in my mouth na notilo vaadu maatalu cheyaledu the pressure on my tongue na naluku pai ottidi techandi and i out of the abundance of my heart i'm now using my tongue to say things about which i'm not happy now nenu na hrudayam nindina kolati na nortunna maatladutunnanu ippudu santoshakaramu kaani maatalu maatladutunnanu are you are you getting something ardham avutunna sangama now jesus not only spoke to a tree yesu chettu tho maatalu maatladadu jesus spoke to a storm yesu oka toofan tho maatladadu 439 mark 439 marku swartha 4 35 and he rose and rebuked the wind ana lechi gaali ni gaddinchi he rebuked what deni gaddinchadandi do you know something oka telsa everything both animate and inanimate objects have ears jeevam unnavi jeevam lenivi vaatiki chevulu untayi both animate and inanimate objects have ears to hear jeevam unna vaatiki jeevam leni vaadu annitiki chevulu untayandi vinnanki jesus spoke to what a tree yesu dento maatladu chettu tho a tree doesn't have ears in the natural chettuku sahajanga chevulu levu but trees can hear kan chettlu vinagalavu he spoke to a storm oka toofan tho maatladu storm has ears to hear toofanu kuda vinagalavu chevulu nai they may not have ears in the natural but they have ears in the realm of the spirit ante sahajamana chevulu lekapochu kani aatmalo even if it's an inanimate object meer jeevamaina vishayala ina patini it can hear and it will obey adi vini vidheta chupinchagalavu you know one day a long time back chaala roju kitham oka roju we were driving to a village i had to go and preach this was in the early days of my ministry na parcharya aadima dinalo nenu parcharya kelthunna oka urlo kelthunna oka urlo kelthunna i was very late at night ratri chaala we had this old uh, ambassador car at that time aapullo paatha ambassador car undindandi and they were not computerized in those days cars were not computerized it was all mechanical aapullo vanni kuda automatic kadandi mechanical kadandi i wish we were like that even today ee roju kuda ala unte baagundi i'm not kidding because i'm telling you no you you now if anything happens you don't know what to do with these cars ipudu em jari em jarina em telidandi manaku asala how many people have died because when the car caught fire they could not unwind 
the windows but chaala mandi mant ochinappudu door kindi kinchale payaru windows because it's all computerized endu anta kuda computer it has taken over control but not in those days aa roju lala lekunde that's why today people are saying and ki roju should have at least one car from the 1970s 1990 and they're not talking because you know if you study what's happening around the world now lokamanta em jarutundi chustunnataite everything is geared being geared towards taking control of everything you have prathidi kuda ni daggara unna dani pai aadinam teeskolani prayatnistu untunnaru so if you have a old car don't feel shy if anybody says anything laugh back at them because one day you're going to laugh mee dagara paathakar unnatayite evarana chusi nenu navute var pattinchukondi meer navandi let's get back to this say example you know I, we were driving it was drizzling and raining mem veltundaga varsham kurustunnadani and it stalled and i knew what the problem was because i was pretty trained in this samasya ento naaku telusindi kada naaku telusindi the problem with the carburetor now some of you don't even know what a carburetor is carburetor lo samasya andadi now that's meela chaala mandi telledu adi so and on that they, with, with all the spark some the folk that understand i'm talking to you where all the spark plugs and the wires come in a spark plugs a wire lanne dagara when it becomes humid it doesn't start akada adi a samayam samasya undi we would stop and it's raining and we're trying to clean it up and dry as much as we can put it back it's called the delco we put it on and we turn it on it starts adi aapi a pachidana anta kuda toorchesi malli petti on chesa vaadu every 5 minutes it was stalling prathi 5 nimishalu kada pachi ayipindi we were running really late chaala alasyam avutunna appudike so now i was learning faith in those days and i was very very active in that aa roju lo vishwasam ne nechukuntunnanu right when it was dra- drizzling i said to the guys get out get get to the side varsham kurustunna andar ni pakkan jarpan then i said car you're not going to stop from now on you're not going to delay us going back no. going to the meeting no. we will go to the meeting and you will not stop nu aagavu nen meeting ki elthunanu nu aapalevu ani cheppi prakatinchanu we had the bonnet open and i was speaking to the carburetor and i was speaking to the engine aa bonnet terchi engine to carburetor to maatladutunnanu and we sat down kurchunamo turn it on it started never stopped again inke pura agaledandi hey listen listen i'm trying to prove a point here nenu kamshani cheptunna chudandi words that i spoke the carburetor heard nenu palikina maatalu carburetor vinnadandi are you with me inanimate objects can hear that's why jesus spoke to a to the wind nirjivamaina nirjivamaina vastulum vinagara vaatike yesu rebuked he was angry with the wind a galadu chusi gaddinchadi that 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 is that says but you must be you must have lost your marbles to be speaking to stuff that does not have ears mai chevulu leni vaatitho maatadam anedi icha murkhatvam andi see you're operating and thinking in the three dimensional sense realm nu mukkana ee panchendri lokam you don't understand god jesus is operating from another dimension altogether jesus christ varu maro konam nundi panchestunnaru i'm trying my best to teach you meeku bodhichalana prayatnistunnanu meeku tarifu idi vaadi to much in the holy ghost to take you to the next dimension in the holy ghost parishuddhatvalo maro konam nundi panchestunnaru we live our lives tadvara maro jeevitham just based on the three dimensional world which is a limited sense knowledge world ee mukkana lokamu panchendri lokamlo akkade The, three, the fourth dimension in nalgav konamu the, the, the divine dimension does not deny the third dimension moodava konanni nirakarichu but it comes in as a superior dimension kada danikante mechina lokamga that can manipulate the third dimension moodava lokanni maarchestundi that can change things in the third dimension aa baatha lokamlo maarchestundandi kaalam say amen hallelujah glory be to i hope i'm getting through to you meek ardham avutunnanu nenu namuthunnanu so he rebukes the wind gaalini gaddinchadu let's go let's go he rebukes the wind gaalini gaddinchadu and and said unto the he he spoke to the wind and to the sea gaalini gaddinchadu samudram tho kuda maatladadu both don't have ears rendidiki chevillavu in this dimension ee konamlo but they have ears in the other dimension kani maro konamlo chevulu unnayi and he said peace be still nimmalavu kamannaru he rebuked and he spoke gaddinchi maatladadu and the wind ceased and there was a great calm a gaali nimmalamayanu samastham nimmalamayanu emattunam words can create matalu srushtinchagalu words can kill matalu champagalavu words can bless matalu deevinchagalavu words can curse matalu shaapinchagalavu proverbs 1821 samathalu 18 21 death and life are in the power of the tongue jeevaram mara namulu naluka vashamu where remember death and life are in the power of t- of the tongue jeevam mara namulu naluka vashamu and it says emattunadani um and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof dani endu pithi padu varu dani palamu tindru death and life are in the power of my tongue jeeva maranulu na naluka vasham my tongue can be used to impart life na naluka jeeva muni vadanki varavachu to release death leda maranani vidipi vidipichu so when the pressure comes otti vachinappudu with a diagnosis from the doctor vaithudu oka samasyam ani cheppinappudu come on are you with me 
వింటున్నారా ఇఫ్ యు అగ్రీ విత్ దట్ దాంతో మీరు ఏకీభవ విస్తే ఐ యామ్ నాట్ సేయింగ్ డినై దట్ రిపోర్ట్ అది నిరాకరించమని చెప్పట్లేదు యు డోంట్ హావ్ టు పారట్ వాట్ ద డాక్టర్ ఇస్ సేయింగ్ కానీ వైద్యుడు చెప్పింది మీరు మళ్ళీ చెప్పనక్కర్లేదు You don't have to parrot what the world is saying. Loku mu cheppedi malli meer cheppalsina avasaram ledhu. Come on, come on. All right? Yes. You don't have to say what they're saying. Vaaru cheppedi meer cheppana karaledhu. We're not saying they're telling a lie. Vaara badam cheptunnaru ani cheppatledhu. We know and are aware of Manaku telusu a truth that is from a superior realm. Unnatamana lokam nunchi satyamu telusu. So I make a choice. Kama nenu oka nirayam cheskuntunna. To use my tongue. Na nalukanu and choose my voice my words na matalu endu endukoni to overpower what the sense realm is saying ee panchendriya lokam cheppe danni adhigaminchadaniki to manipulate what the three dimensional world is saying mukkuna lokam cheppe di maarchadaniki so what i desire nenu aashinchedi i desire na aasha that the diagnosis vaithu cheppina maata will change maaralani the next time i go tarvata sar velthe the next time you go tarvata sar velthe it will be a positive report adi manchi samacharanga undali come on come on but i am not waiting on them to tell me kani varu na to cheppali i'm waiting on god to tell me devudu na to cheppali and i'm using his words i am matalu vaadi to change this reality ee vastavanni maarchestunnaru my words na matalu create my reality na vastavanni srushtisthunnayi oh hallelujah hallelujah i hope i'm communicating well to you amen now if if this is how god worked devudu ila pani chesthe and this is how jesus worked yesu ila pani chesthe the book of ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 says ephesians 5 verse 1 modhara vachana amplified version amplified tarjumalo therefore be imitators of god kaaga devuni pole narchukondi copy him ayanu pole narchukondi follow his example ayana madhiriga narchukondi well as well beloved children imitate their father priyulaina pillala vale antunadu if we say god is my father devudu na tandri ante then i need to imitate my father ayanu pole narchukovali how does he work yella pani chestunadu how does he work ani yella pani chestadu how does he do things ani yella karyam nirvahistunadu palukutunadu he is a speaking spirit ani paliki aatma he has made me a speaking spirit nannu kuda paliki aatma chesadu so god is expecting that i imitate him ayanu poli nadachukonela devudu aashisthunadu nannu hallelujah hallelujah i said hallelujah if your wallet is empty we jeb khali unte speak that it will overflow with money adi dabbu to pongi porlanu talaka i don't have talaka ledhu ani cheppukondi no 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 do you have anything ne dagara manunda no, not right now prasthan kledu i have ne dagara undi don't see let's let's learn something let's not be legalistic about this but ee vishayamunu batti manamu ila visleshana kadu let's be spiritual about it aatma sambandham ayi varuga undam speak Sometimes you don't have to say nothing. కొన్ని సార్లు ఏమీ చెప్పకూడదు. It is better not to say anything rather than say something negative. ప్రతికూలమైనది మాట్లాడే దాని బదులుగా ఏమీ చెప్పకపోతే బాగుండు. Oh give to this cause. ఈ ఈ కారణం కొరికి ఇవ్వండి దయచేసి. You would like to but you don't have anything at that moment. ఇవాలంటే you don't have to say I don't have. నా దగ్గర లేదు అని చెప్పాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు. Well maybe next time. తర్వాత సారి ఇస్తానులే. don't give them the impression that you don't have and don't let the devil hear that don't let the spirit world hear that apavadiki aatma lokamu vinakudani ni dagara ledho cheppadam anedi the creation is happening where srushti ekkada jarugutundi from the spirit world aatma lokamu nundi so my words are working in the realm of the spirit to make it a reality in this realm na matalo aatma lokamulo pani chestu ikkada vastavanga marustundi so if i use these words i'm saying well i got to be honest so that's why i didn't tell a lie i don't have anything that's not a lie true nijatiga cheptunna nenu abaddham cheppatledu na daggara ledu that may be true adi vastavam ga avachu what you have done is you have released a word oka matra vidudal chesaru confirm it so that you don't have anything in the future nijaga bhavishyathlo emi lekunna oka matra vidudal chesaru rather you say adi kaakunda no next time tarvata sari istha i will have and i will give na daggara untundi nenu istha lord i thank you for you are sending much into my life na jeevithamlo athyadikamnu pampisthunna i will not lack naaku lemi undadu the lord is my shepherd yehova na kaapari hallelujah hallelujah i said hallelujah hallelujah i said hallelujah hallelujah glory be to god you know um, i think it was brother hagen brother hagen garu who just had one pair of trousers okay jatha pant undindi and he had holes in his shoes a shoes lo randra never unai. told anybody that he had a need kantara kausamana evvariki cheppaledu i am blessed nen divinchabadi unnanu cheptu vachha i am blessed nen divinchabadi unnanu and i am a blessing nen itaru divinakaramu untanu you got to say what you want to see happen in your life nee jeevithalo emi jaragalani korchunavo adi paniko if you want to change your status quo nee sthitinu maarchukovali you cannot talk about where you are now ippudu nu ekkada unnavo adi maatladalevu you have to change your speech nee maatanu Your words are going 
in the realm of the spirit to create that nee maatalo aatmaloniki velli aatmaloniki saying i'm a millionaire nen lakshadhikari ani cheptunnau people may laugh at you prajalu ni chusina avuthundi that's okay parladandi you're not trying to convince anybody evarini opinpalan chustunnaru i don't chustu have to convince you that i'm a millionaire nen lakshadhikari ninnu opinchalsu avuthundi i may not be a millionaire nen lakshadhikari kaadu but i'm declaring i'm a millionaire kanna lakshadhikari ani prakatisthunnanu i'm working on something oka dani pai pani chestunnanu I hope you get what I'm saying. I'm working on something. Okay, Dani, pay money chest now. What am I doing? I'm releasing these words. He matter will be done chest now. That I'm a millionaire. Then Lakshya Dikari. That the realm of the spirit hears that. At the local vidya laguna. Come on. So I attract to me all the things that are necessary to take me to the millionaire status. Come on, Lakshya Dikari. Stay in a new level. That's why I keep saying that. 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 Glory be to God. Are you, uh, are you getting this? So you don't say what you're going through, you say what you want to see happen in your life. నువ్వు ఏమ ఎదుర్కొంటున్నావో పలకవ కానీ నువ్వు ఏమి చూడగొర్చినావో అది నువ్వు పలుకుతూ ఉండాలి. I think I'm preaching really good tonight. Come on. Praise God. <laughs> Now, Mark 11:22, 23. మార్కు సువార్త 11:22. And Jesus answering said unto them, have faith in God. యేసుక్రీస్తు వారితో విశ్వాసం కలిగి ఉండండి. Because Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all were amazed that the tree had dried up. Peter and all mountain does not have ears kondoka parvataniki chevulu levu bills don't have ears billulaku chevulu levu come on the article you're desiring to have maybe a car maybe a refrigerator maybe a house they don't have ears nu aashisthuna vastu car kavachu chevulu levu chevulu levu sahajanga chevulu levu andi but they can all hear you kanavanni nee maata vinagalavu Whosoever shall say to the mountain, "Yeva da na nu kono nu chuchi chepito." Just because it's inanimate, don't shut your mouth. Nijiva mana nta na matra na nu chuchi chepito. Mar paluku. Believing, that's what Jesus did. Yesu adhe chesa du kapa na mutu chepu. Showing us that they can hear you. Avi ni nu vina galava ni chup chupi. Say to this mountain. Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Nu pekeli chepu ni samudumla phalave bhavar chepu. And shall not doubt in his heart. Manasilo sandehi paka. but shall believe nammi that whatsoever he said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he said aina cheppinadi jarugunani nammite cheppinadi jarugunani bible cheppinadi in this scripture ee lekhanamulo i want you to see the word say is repeated three times cheppadamo anna maata moodu saalu raabadundandi because that is so important adi chaala pramukyam your words are very important to create it nee maatalu srushtinchadaniki chaala mukyam the mountain listen 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 carefully the mountain is not being moved because of your faith because of your belief akonda ni namakumunu patti kadalinchabadu what you believe nu nammedi has now to has now got to be released through words maatala dwara vidudala cheyabadali until it is released through words your faith does not have the power maatala dwara vidudala cheyabadthena tappa ani vishwasaniki shakti ledhu until you release you those words a maatala vidudala cheyabadthena tappa does not have the power to execute what you believe nu nammaka ki karyamu cheyabadthe shakti ledhu so if you want to see what you believe manifest nu nammedi nerverchabadalante what you believe in your heart has to be expressed through your mouth nee hrudhamlo nammedi noti dwara vyakta parchali whosoever shall say evadaina nu cheppina yana i have to say nenu cheppali i have to say nenu cheppali say to this mountain kondana chusi cheppali that whatsoever he say ana edi cheppina okay let, let's go there shall not doubt his heart but shall believe that those things which he say vaadu cheppina vi nammite what should you believe nu em nammalandi you should believe your words nee maatalu nu nammali If I say I'm a millionaire, then Lakshya Dikari must chapte. believe that I'm, I'm my words. I am a millionaire. Now, what are the numbers and then Lakshya Dikari? Where is the proof? Ye kar rujhu. I may not have proof for you, but I have proof in my heart. Ni ko chuje ni ko rujhu leka pochi na rudhu. I will not be able to show you anything as such right now. But ye pura ni ko ye ni chuje leka pochi. It's only a matter of time, but wait and see. It's going to happen. Khud the samay matam hai. For you, it's going to happen. For me, it has already happened in the spirit. Kani na ko aap bolo kumla jari poindi. So what am I saying? You speak to the issue. Nu ab vasulo to. Matlaadu. Then you have to believe your own words. Tha tha ni manu chhe pina matlaadu nammali. You have to believe your words. Ni matlaadu nammali. So he those believe those things which he say shall come to that means you believe what the words you speak will 
will be executed nu palikina maatalu neravercharapadtayaru nu the words you speak will come to pass nu palikina maatalu neravercharapadtayaru you must believe nu nammali danni when i say i was healed by stripes aina pondra debbalo swasthita pondra ancha do i believe in god's power to heal me devuni shaktilo maatham but i believe the words i spoke are now working for me because they are in line with god's word nenu palikina maatalu naaku pani chestuna ani nammali enduku ani devuni avasaram undi i have to believe my na maatalu nammali then he says tarvata antunadu you shall have whatever you say vaadu cheppinadi jarugunu antunadu not what god said devudu cheppindi kadandi what you said new cheppindi that's why you need to learn to believe in what you said anduke nivu cheppinadi nammadu nerchukovali what are you saying nu em cheptunavu that's the question adi prashna what are you saying nu em cheptunavu when you say something to your daughter ni kumartha tho when you say something to your husband ni bartha tho cheptunavu when you say something to your sibling ni annadamulu tho cheptunavu be careful jagratha bless them vaari aashirvadinchu we're not here called by god to curse we're here to bless devunu valana shepinchadaniki pilavadaledandi divinchadaniki pilavadam when the children of israel went into exile israel prajalu mari charulok babylon charulok vellarandi babylon what god said devu em anadu telsa pray to bless that city aa patanaanni divisthu prarthinchandi because if the city has to prosper the church has to bless aa patanam vardillalante sangamu varini aashirvadinchandi hyderabad has to be blessed hyderabad vardillalante we have to bless it manamu varini danni aashirvadinchandi the church of jesus christ christu sangamu has to bless the city ee patanam aashirvadinchali because our words have power mana maatallo shakti and when we release those words aa maatallu vidal chesinappudu oh hallelujah so now kabatti ippudu elections are coming మరి ఎలక్షన్స్ వస్తున్నాయండి వర్డ్స్ ఎన్నికలు వస్తున్నాయి మాటలు ఐ యామ్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు టెల్ యు వాట్ టు సే ఏం చెప్పాలో నేను చెప్పను బట్ డోంట్ సిట్ అండ్ క్రై క్రిస్టియన్స్ ఆర్ బీయింగ్ హెరాస్డ్ కరి క్రైస్తవులు ఆ వర్డ్స్ కెన్ రిప్లేస్ దట్ వేధించబడుతున్నారు ఏంటి ఆ వర్డ్స్ కెన్ డిస్ట్రాయ్ దట్ మన మాటలు నాశనం చేయగలవు ఆ వర్డ్స్ కెన్ చేంజ్ ఎవరీథింగ్ మన మాటలు ప్రతిది మార్చి యు బిలీవ్ నో నమ్ముతున్నారు ఓ నో నో దే హావ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ మనీ లేదండి వారికి చాలా డబ్బు ఉంది నో మనీ ఇస్ అ మ్యాచ్ టు వర్డ్స్ ఏ డబ్బుకు కూడా మాటలు సరిపోవండి డబ్బు కమ్ ఆన్ కమ్ ఆన్ Let's bring it down. Alu chida mandu sir. Today. Ee roju ee roju gunja. We have elections coming in our city in our state. Mana patnam lo yenikalu ostunnayi. Very soon we'll have elections in the country. Tvarlone deshamlo yenikalu untayi. Right now is when we start speaking. Ippudandi mana maatladda modal pettali. Don't speak what others are saying. Itrulu cheppedi palakakandi. Don't say what the polls are saying. Mari polls cheppedi palakakandi. Polls are deceptive. Ah yeah, polls anavi kuda mosa puritamainavi. Because the polls are being used to manipulate the minds of people that they will all agree and do what they're saying a polls are we were cheppedi chese laguna vari oka manasu pai prabhavam chuputu untayandi kavals i was just i think i may be wrong but i'll just give you something that i vaguely remember naku gurtunadi meeru cheptanandi in the 2016 elections of us president 2016 us president more than 90% of the polls predicted that it would be a cake walk for hillary clinton tombai shatam a poll santha kuda and there was no chance for trump to win hillary clinton gelustundi trump gelavadam cheppar why was the polls being used like that enduku polls ala vaadabaddayi pushing people to vote for her prajalu aamiku vote chesela chestunnaru the same applies here ikkada kuda adhe nadustundi they may be very powerful position par chaala shaktivantamaina sthayi lo unnayi but they are no match to god kani devuniki sarithu garandi vaadu god has placed the church devudu sangamu nunchadu so that the world is not corrupted lokamu malinamu kaakunda undadani you know, when if the world has to go into corruption lokamu malinamu kavalante truly corrupt kalushitam kavalante the church has to be lifted sangam etta that's why the rapture we're going to be lifted anduke sangam etta vastundi corruption will come in and nobody can stop that tarvata lokam anta kalushitam ayyadu ivvaru aapaleru ippudu who is stopping the onslaught of the enemy is the church apovadiga daadi naapika sangam that's why the church is being so heavily persecuted around the world anduke lokam anta sangam etta vara sangam pondutunnadi sangamu the conservative believers in the bible ee bible grandhamlo unna vishwasulu against one world government mari oka one world government ki agenda of the leadership of the nations of the world is to bring in the one world government aa deshalo naikulu andaru kuda one world government ani aashisthunnaru because only when the one world government comes in that the antichrist can come into power lokamanta oke pravutham vachinappudu antichrist vastarandi who is stalling this evarandi aaputhu who is stopping this evar dinna aaputhu who is delaying this evar aashisthunnaru sangam because we are praying against manam prarthisthunnam kabatti come on now amen so i'm showing you that our words have power mana maatalu shakti unnai let's not agree and talk like the rest of the world lokamantar nevala mana maatladu india bharat desham laga let's speak what we desire manam aashinchadi palukudamu we will have freedom in this state to preach the gospel ee patanamlo swadha paradiche swechcha paradiche we will not be harassed in this place ee deshamlo pastalu veyichadu not only in this state but in this country ee rashtra maatra ga deshamlo kuda we will have freedom to preach prasanginche swechcha nobody will stop us they will 
not steal our money. They will not steal our properties. They will not stop us. This is what we proclaim. This is what we've got to say. You have to say it with boldness and believe not just God. Believe your words. Oh, Jesus. Am I preaching good? Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight is different. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. All right, Jay, look, look at this. I, I want you to get this. This because the words are so... It's time up, guys. <laughs> well, let's all fly to the fourth dimension. Amen. <laughs> <clears throat> Mark chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. Let's look at this. Please. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet. And besought him greatly. That means he begged Jesus. Saying. Everybody says saying. Saying. He said something. That's the key. For the miracle of Jairus' daughter, the beginning is what he said. His words created the pathway for that girl to come back to life. Your words, your words can resurrect your business. Your words can resurrect that womb of yours. Your words can resurrect that heart of yours. Your words words can revive those kidneys again. Come on, come on, come on, amen. Amen. Saying, my little daughter lieth at the point of death, I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And what did he declare? Life. He said, I believe. I believe that Jesus can raise my daughter. That's what he says. So he comes and says, Lord, I say with my words, with my mouth, if you lay hands, she'll be healed and she'll what? She shall, be, she shall live. Glory be to God. And that's what happened. What are you saying? What are you saying? Please get this tape and listen to it again. Please. I won't be able to finish it. I hope I can take this for the next time. But let me take go for a little bit further. Okay. Um, Mark chapter 5. This is another scripture that we're all aware of. No, no. Look at this. While he yet spake, there came from the rulers of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he saith unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. You know what you're saying? Just because you heard that, don't change what you said. Because look at this, the pressure now is on his tongue. He, can, he used his mouth to say she will live. Now he can use the same tongue to annul and, and, uh, and stop the miracle. If he had said, there is no more use in you coming Jesus. That would have been the end of that. But Jesus did not give him a chance. He, because Jesus knew. Because when he released those words, power was already released. Faith was released. So Jesus was saying, don't, don't, don't say nothing now. Only believe, continue to believe what you said. No, no, not only believe God, believe what you said. Because what you said is in line with God's word. See, we've been taught, believe in God's word. But nobody taught you that you've got to believe in your own words. You have to believe in your words. So when, I, when you curse somebody, that will come to pass because you believe and you desire that to happen for that person. So don't use your words to destroy somebody's destiny. Jesus said, only believe. Be not afraid. Okay. 
And the, therefore, what happened? The miracle happened. We don't want to go into the study of the miracle, but then I'm trying to make a point here. Words. So look, at, look at what this woman said with the issue of blood. Mark chapter 5, verse 1. She kept saying, amplified, she kept saying, if I only touch his garment, I shall be restored to hell. So, I release the words. I'm a millionaire. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Or nothing happened. In fact, what you had is gone. And actually you went into more debt. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep saying that. Keep saying it. Because it's working in the realm of the spirit. What's happening in the realm of the spirit is irrelevant to what's happening in the natural. Because if you can keep up that saying, I'm a millionaire. I am blessed. I'm highly favored of God. That will become a reality. It will change the present scenario and situation. And it will bring about the reality of what you've been saying because the words you've spoken have carried the power into the realm of the spirit and there it's been manufactured. It's been made and is being brought into this realm. She kept saying. She, kept, she didn't say, I'm going to say it for 21 days. She kept saying until Jesus arrived in her town. Yes, so what happens is this. As you keep saying, a million dollars may not fall in your lap. But suddenly, God will show you small doors of opportunity. And when you enter through those, you may not land a million, but you land a part of it. Another door of opportunity, you land another. Another one. See, the door of opportunity opened for her as she kept saying, I believe Jesus was drawn to her town because she spoke. Her words drew Jesus to her town. Oh, this is very powerful, man. This is very, very powerful. Romans chapter 10, verse 8. Okay. What saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Where is the word? Nigh, near you and in your mouth and in your heart. The word-based words you're going to speak should be in your heart, in your mouth and near you. That, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved. Hey, hey, hey. How are you saved? Salvation is a gift from God. Amen. We cannot work for it. But how do I possess it? I possess it by releasing words. Words that are coming out of my heart that believes. So if that applies for salvation, it applies for everything else. I have to believe. And I have to speak. So words are extremely important and extremely Powerful. Are you getting this? You are saved because you spoke. Yes, sir. Your, not my words. Your words. You must believe your words that you are now saved. And your words have produced the result called the gift of salvation. Come on, come on. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? So remember this. The word should be in your mouth, in your heart, and near you. And when you speak forth, it will bring about the result. For the Bible says in verse 10, With the heart man believeth unto righteousness, that means with right to right standing, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So the word brings the conviction why am I saying I'm a millionaire? Because I believe God wants to bless me. So there is the biblical word-based belief system. Based on that, now I speak forth. With the heart man believeth, and with the mouth 
confession is made mm-hmm. unto to. salvation which means unto the result rakshana kalugutai ante palitam kalugutai oppukonu chestunnam note to listen to me jartha vinandi nothing will happen if you don't open your mouth nee noru vipakapothe edi jaragadu what you believe speak forth without hesitation or doubt nu vishwasinchadi etondi movaatamu sandeham lekunda paluku i don't know race this i'm going to stop here ikkada aapestanandi i got another few pages to go but uh, we can refresh this right we can because next week i can't do this next week we have something else coming up but the following week when i pick it up i'll go back to the beginning and i'll take you further and maybe we'll have more time to preach and teach but i really want even this much did you get something out of this adamaindandi i really want you to get this and listen it's free please listen to it not once a few times because I want us to begin to understand the value and the power there is in the words we speak. మనం పలికే మాటలు ఎంత విలువైనది ఎంత శక్తి ఉన్నది మీరు గ్రహించాల్సిన సంగతి కాబట్టి మళ్ళీ వినండి దయచేసి And the revelation tonight is ఈ రాత్రి ప్రత్యక్షత ఏంటంటే believe in your words. నీ మాటల్లో ను నమ్ము Not just in God's word. దేవుని మాట మాత్రమే కాదు. Watch this. గమనించండి. Not any words you speak. నువ్వు పలికే ప్రతి మాట కాదు. But the words you speak based on God's word. దేవుని వాక్యమును ఆధారం చేసుకున్న మాటలు. Don't speak any words that contradict the word of God. కాబట్టి దేవుని వాక్యానికి విరుద్ధంగా ఉన్న మాటలు పలకకండి. You speak in accordance with the word of God. దేవుని వాక్యానుసారంగా మాట్లాడినప్పుడు Believe the words you spoke. నువ్వు పలికిన మాటలు మొమ్మండి. And then you shall have what you have received. అప్పుడు నువ్వు పలికిన పొందుకుంటావు. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Were you blessed tonight? దివించ బలై రాత్రి. Thank you Lord. Thank you Father for the word. We just pray that this word will be well established in our hearts to bring forth lord <clears throat> the fruit in everyone's life